So welcome to my video on circles. I want to show you what the equation of a circle looks like before we actually start an example. So that's why I wrote these equations for you on the bottom of the screen. On the left hand side we have the equation uh, x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Uh, this is what the equation of a circle looks like if the center is at the origin or the center is at the point uh, 0, 0. All right, and the r in this equation is equal to the radius of the circle. The radius is any uh, is the distance from the center of the circle to any point on the edge of the circle. All right, and on this equation on the right, instead of having a x squared, we have an x minus h squared, and instead of having a y squared, we have a y minus k squared. Um, this is what the equation of a circle looks like if the if the center is not at the origin or the center is not at the point zero zero and the h in this formula is the x coordinate of the center and the k in this formula is the y coordinate of the center so that is my brief introduction and let's just get started right away with an example So here we have x plus 2 squared plus y plus 1 squared is equal to 16. So the first thing we want to find out always is the center of the circle. So let's find the center of the circle. And like I said before, the center is usually written in the form hk. And the h is the x coordinate of the center. And the x coordinate of the center is always next to the x term. All right. And since the number next to the x term is a two, that means the that means that the uh, the h or the x coordinate of the center is also going to be two, except it's going to be opposite in sign. So since it's a positive two, it's going to be a negative two. And the k coordinate of or the y coordinate of the center is always next to the y term and since it is a 1 it's going and it's a positive then it's going to be a the opposite sign so it's going to be a negative 1 so I'm going to plot that on my graph so we're going to go to the left negative 2 units and then we're going to go down negative 1 unit so here we have the point negative 2, negative 1, and this is the center of our circle. Alright, so now that we have found the center of our circle, now we need to plot some points on the edge of our circle, and in order to do that we need to know what our radius is. Now we need to find the, the radius of our circle. All right. So now, once again, we are going to find our radius. And if you remember from our equations that I wrote for you, uh, uh, in, our, in my introduction, this number on the right side of the equation is our r squared. So our 16, this number right here, is going to be our r squared. So we know that the r squared term is equal to our uh, is equal to 16. And now we need to find what r is. All right. So if r squared is 16, the square root of that will be r. R is equal to the square root of 16, which is just 4. So we know that the distance of our radius is equal to 4. So that means the distance from our center of our circle to any point on the edge of the circle is equal to 4. All right, And the easiest points to plot are directly to the right and left of the center and directly, to, uh, directly uh, up and down from the center because for those points you just need to know how to count. All right, So I'm going to count 4 units uh, to the right of the center. So here I'm starting at the center. Go to the right. One, two, three, four. Here's one point. I'm going to go to the left four units. One, two, three, four. Here's another point on the circle. I'm going to go up four units. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to go down four units. One, two, three, four. All right, so notice how all four of these points are the same distance from the center. So they're, they're all four units from the center. Um, so now we definitely have a, enough points to, uh, to draw a circle. And I think you can kind of figure out what it's going to look like. 
I'll do my best to make this look as much of a circle as possible. So I'm going to start at this bottom point and draw a curve line to the left. I'll draw another curve line from the left to the top, from the top to the right, and from the right to the bottom. All right, so now we have graphed our circle. I forgot to label all my points. It's probably something you probably have to do. So now I'm going to label all my points on the circle, and I'm going to label my center. Um, this point, this green on the right side, in green, um, if you start at the origin, you go to the right two units, one, two, and you go down one unit. So this point is the point positive two, negative one. If we look at this point on the bottom, if you start at the origin, you go to the left one, two, and you go down one, two, three, four, five. So this is the point negative two, negative five. And if we look at the point all the way to the left, if we start at the origin, we go to the left one, two, three, four, five, six units, and we go down one unit. Um, so this is the point negative six, negative one. And for our last point at the top, if we start at the origin, we go to the left one, two units, and we go up one, two, three units. So that is the point negative two positive three. And last but not least, I'm going to label our center point. Even though we already wrote negative two, negative one on the left, I'm also going to write it so our graph is complete. Our center is the point negative two, negative one. So now we have completely graphed our circle. I hope this gave you a better understanding of what the equations look like and how to graph them. So if you need any other help with ellipses and hyperbolas, um, I do also have videos on, on those topics as well. I hope you enjoyed this, and until my next one, I will see you later.